Okay, welcome to this PHP Basics tutorial on um, extending classes and the protected keyword, uh, which I mentioned in the previous class and ob classes and objects tutorial. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is use this code that we created in the classes and objects video um, to demonstrate uh, what extending is. So what I'm going to do first is just remove the construct function because I'm because I'm going to be defining a new class underneath here. Um, I want as much space as I can uh, as possible so I don't have to be scrolling up and down uh, I'm also going to change these functions here to test private like so uh, private and I'm also going to change what it does to echo private and the test public method will now do echo public like so I'm just going to remove this code where we were using the class down here as well. Um, so, um, when you extend a class, you define it. Uh, sorry, okay. Um, when defining a class, you can choose to have it extend another class, uh, and you do that as follows. Um, when you're defining a class, you do class, and then the name of the class. So this is going to be test, um, and then you can optionally, like normally, you could just like have the block here and this would be your class code inside these brackets um, or you can also have extends example so this extends keyword means that this test class will extend the example class which is the class we defined up here and what extending means is that it will, inher it will inherit all of the methods and properties from the parent class uh, so this would be the parent and then this would be the child um, because the child extends the parent or something like that um, so this test class will also be able to access all of the properties and methods from the um, example class using the this uh, keyword and you can also call them directly so for example if we just come down here and create a new instance of the test class by doing test equals new test and then we try and call one of the methods that is defined in the above function uh, for example I could call um, test test public and we will get the output of oh class example not found okay I spelled it wrong example now we get the output of public because this line here has called the f uh, method test public from this class which doesn't exist so it's gone to the parent class found this method and called that um, if you do define uh, the test public method inside this class so for example if I were to do public uh, method function test public echo here and reload the page you see we get the output here um, the reason for that is that methods defined in the child class take precedence over ones defined in the parent class um, it sort of seems logical to expect you'd get an error for doing this because you can't define the same function twice uh, but in classes and objects uh, you can define the same function same method in the child that you have in the parent um, all it means is that it overwrites it and you basically get this code rather than this code um, so now what we can do is well let's just rename this let's call this test child to make it a bit simpler and we can access the um, parent properties using the this keyword as we did before so remember that the this keyword this variable keyword um, sort of points to the uh, object, the current object, the, the, the object of the current class, the instance of the current class, there we go. So this is the same as test out here, so it's new test basically. So we can um, call a method by doing something like test uh, public, like so, and then reloading the page, you can see we get the output public, um, because this um, uh, we've created a new instance here 
and we've called this test public function. Uh, oh, okay, that should be child. Now we should get the same output, which we do. So now what we're doing uh, is creating a new instance of the class, calling the check test child method of that class, which is this code here. This code is calling the test public method of the current class, but because this class extends the example class, it has inherited this test public method from here. So it's also available. Um, so that's basically it for extending. Um, what I do want to talk about now is the protected keyword. Oh, I should point out as well, this also applies to properties. So this class down here will be able to access the like this string property, and it'll just be an empty string. So for example, if I ta change the ch uh, test child method to var dump of this string, like so, and reload the page, and we get the fact that it's a string and then the string which is, is empty, so just two quotes and zero characters is what the zero means. So um, you can access properties and methods of the parent class. That's basically it for extending. Uh, now the protected keyword, which um, you can use in place of public or private here. So if I were to, oh actually I should mention something else, private. Uh, private methods, like I said before, can only be used inside the class that they're defined in. So if I were to down here, for example, try and access the private method, test private, oops, private, there we go, and reload the page, fatal error, call to private method, example test private, from context test. So this from context, which was previously empty, just tells you the class which has tried to access the private method. An empty string means sort of global, not in a class. Um, and it's telling you that it's trying to access a private method, which is not allowed. Um, so methods defined as private cannot be accessed outside of the class um, or at all, outside of the class at all. Uh, methods defined as public can be accessed inside the class, outside of the class, and in classes that extend the class. Uh, methods defined as protected, so if I change this now to protected, like so, um, this will be um, accessible inside the class it's defined in, also inside classes that extend it, but not outside of the class sort of entirely. So let's change this to test, oh actually, let's create a new one, because then we'll have all three. So let's define a new method called a pr new protected method, so protected function test protected echo protected so now I've just defined the new method that outputs protected and it is protected so let's try and call the test protected method reloading the page now results in the word protected being output so what this means is that we have accessed a protected method However, if I were to, for example, call it from here, so if I change test test child to test protected and reload the page, we get fatal error call to uh, protected method and it tells you uh, what the method is. So it's the example class and the test protected method. So you can't call protected methods from outside of the class. Uh, but from, like I said before, from context, nothing means just so not inside a class, just in global scope. So yeah, that's basically that. Um, the same thing applies to properties. Um, so if this uh, string property were protected, you would be able to access it from inside here, but not from outside here. So that's basically everything that I wanted to talk about uh, for extending and the protected keyword. So hopefully this was at least slightly useful. Uh, it might seem a bit odd that I split it out into a, sep a separate video, but it is a separate thing, really, extending, um, and the protected keyword goes with it. So I didn't want to make like a half an hour video. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching, and hopefully this was sort of useful.